Interesting story, a special report. You know, California is known for its giant redwood and sequoia trees. They are so big, and maybe you've seen this iconic picture, that a car can actually drive through them. But guess what? You don't have to travel all the way to California to see the giants in the forest, and I'm talking about trees. Fox 13's Mississippi correspondent Tom Dees joins us in the studio. Tom, so what you're telling us is that we have sequoia-sized trees right in the Magnolia State. Uh, Greg, that is correct, and it's absolutely free to tour them. Other than the gas money, a bit of a drive to get down there. These trees are so big, they don't seem real. They're champions in their own right, and they're the biggest of their kind in the whole world. Now, when you talk about deep roots in the Mississippi Delta, these trees got them. Two hours and 45 minutes south of Memphis, deep in the Mississippi Delta, is a place called Sky Lake. Here lies a swamp where the palmettas grow and the cypress moss sways in the breeze like ghosts. There is a stand of big trees here. You may have seen big trees before. But none the magnitude of what y'all are gonna see today. Meet Mark Simmons. In 1997, his family donated more than 700 acres of swamp land in Humphreys County, Mississippi to the state to preserve it. On this very property stand the world's largest cypress trees, Mississippi's very own sequoia trees. The trees are in the same family. To give you an idea of just how huge these trees are here, we're actually standing inside of the world champion cypress tree here at Sky Lake. Now look at how enormous this thing is. If you look up, the ceiling on the inside is another 20 feet above us. Some uh, authorities from Washington came down and uh, documented these trees at, at, at uh, before Christ. The age of them goes back before Christ. For more than 2,000 years, these giant trees have survived bugs, lightning strikes, drought, and tornadoes, critters, and loggers. Some of the massive old stumps here attest to the misfortune of some of the trees. But on the upside, cypress wood is rot resistant and bug resistant, helping the trees to live longer. Simmons says he and his daughters discovered the first of the millennium's old trees on the family property while out riding horses one Sunday in 1985. She said, Daddy, that is the largest tree that I have ever seen. Let's go get a tape measure and measure it. She was only 12 or 13 years old. She's a pharmacist now in, in Nashville and raising children. Uh, but so we went and got a uh, tape and, and uh, measured it and we measured it at ground level on the floor and it measured around 80 feet circumference. Since Mark Simmons' family donated the property, the state spent a million dollars constructing a boardwalk that winds almost a half a mile among the ancient swamp trees. According to Mr. Simmons, the family had some options when it came to the property and the trees, but he says it was ever important to his family to preserve these giants. Simmons says his family could have just cleared the property, cut the trees down, and sold the timber. That was an option. But uh, my daddy always believed in, and uh, he loved his, his swamp and his trees and all, so I guess I inherited that from my father, so we just decided that we would uh, try to preserve it, and, and the way we handled it was the way to do it. So. Uh, that's how, that's how it came about. So here's something to fathom. The tree behind me is so large that it can drink up to 13,000 gallons of water in one day. Also picture this. There's enough wood in this cypress tree, if it's rock solid, to build five or six homes. The world champion cypress tree stands at the end of the boardwalk. It is 97 feet around and 118 feet tall. At one time, it was much taller than that. We assume that a tornado came through 
and broke this top out of this tree two or three hundred years ago. The beauty of Sky Lake is if you want to keep it on the boardwalk, you can. You can also get down and walk among these gorgeous giants. However, that's not recommended unless you've got some mud boots on. It is a swamp, so it is muddy. Also, you're probably going to need to wear some hunter's orange, some orange to keep it safe because it is deer season. Mark Simmons says the joy in preserving these Mississippi giants is that people from all over the U.S. and the world have come to see them. Last week, a lady said she felt as close to God as she'd ever felt in her life when she was out here standing where we're standing right now because it's so quiet and peaceful and look up at things that over 2,000 years old, you don't see that every day. Our family being able to contribute to what you're seeing. Just a few minutes north of Belzona, Mississippi, off of Highway 7. Touring the big cypress trees at Sky Lake, by the way, is free to the public. The boardwalk also has an amphitheater. Some couples have felt so moved by the whole, the whole thing, the big trees and all, that they actually get married there. I want to remind <laughs> you, for your two-screen experience, go to our My Fox Memphis Facebook page there. You'll find a link to the Sky Lake page with a map, all the info on how to get there. You can also follow me by uh, Tom D's Fox 13 on Twitter because on you Twitter. know yes. I'm going back. Uh, it That was mesmerizing. It was standing out there and the only word that I gave people was Jurassic. I got a bit unnerved at one point. Really? <laughs> because, well, I'm wondering is there going to be a mastodon? Are we looking for a velociraptor? Or mm -hmm. what's going to come running through the woods? It's so primitive. It, it's amazing. I, I was amazed you, when, when you said that there was there was a tree that was 80 feet in circumference. And that's, that's one of the babies. That, that's that's what, one of the from, smaller from here ones. here to the end of the studio, right? The biggest one's 96 feet around. You know, you give explanation in an instance for why there is a term called tree hugger. <laughs> the thought of that tree being destroyed yeah. Yeah. will make you want to cling to well, it. Well, I think, you know, he said his family, his dad always loved the swamp trees. And, and they, they never thought about cutting them down. Beautiful. Well, thank you. Appreciate I enjoyed it. it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tom.